Hello everyone, it's me again Vic, back with another Minecraft video because it's been uh, quite a while since I last made, a, made any kind of videos so I'm not going to waste your time and let's get right into it so this is going to be a showcase as you can probably tell for the, the title of my uh, latest structure the this dam that I built all the landscape you see here is made in world painter which is a software I really like for making minecraft worlds with a few edits using the minecraft mod world edit this is also primarily built using create the create mod and other add-ons and without any further time wasting let's get into it so first we actually have these stairs leading you to the upper gear room. Here, you can see that the dam floodgates are currently all open and driving. But with the flick of this small little lever, that all changes. And now the floodgates are all closed. The, the system behind this isn't really that complex. Just redstone connecting to all these pistons that can, can push some blocks up and down to block or unblock the path of the water. And then here, an ordinary looking grass patch. Think again, it's actually a secret entrance. And uh, yeah, this is a small tunnel that actually goes under the ocean. And here we have the, the gigantic und underground structure of the dam. This is basically what you see here, the inside, which is not actually empty. And here we have all the complex machinery. If you're overwhelmed by this, don't worry, I'll explain. So this is the water room filled to the brim with water containing a lot of large cogwheels and here we use shafts and connect them to gearboxes in order to transport the rotational power of the large water wheels into this small contraption room here we can manipulate the rotations speed using some basic physical physics laws that you, that aren't really important right now because I don't want to make this video 10 hours long of using small large and normal cog wheels to speed it up you can see these ones are going really slowly this one's going really slowly this one is a bit faster this one's faster, even more faster, and this one is pretty fast. These, if I get my engineer goggles to actually see behind the scenes, stuff, you can see we're generating 16 rotations per minute. These combined make 32 rotations per minute here, powering this gearbox that has 32 rotations per minute, powering this alternator. Above my screen is 5k out of 5k Fe, which is forge energy, basically electricity. This is the first way of renewable energy that the hydroelectric dam makes using water. The second one uses raw rotational power, which is transported through this, through this shaft into this gearbox which goes all the way down to here which is what I call the magnetic coil chamber here this this whole shaft and gearboxes power this huge generator coil surrounded by magnetite blocks which as you probably guessed are fully magnetic and harness the energy the energy is, is then transported into this carb, carbon brush which has 84 de energy. So, uh, yeah, this also generates nuclear energy, as you can see in the energy output. The, the dam does not generate any nuclear power yet, but in maybe in the future I'll make it do that. 
And that's about almost it of the dam. Here, there's the here. This actually was supposed to be the top of the dam, but since I wanted to add more machinery and mechanic things to it, I made it the upper tunnel, and this is the actual top. If I just make it there again. This is the actual top with a road and a little a little walk area for civilians. Now I was actually planning to add more things like the intake towers, like some intake towers here for even more water, but I think we already have enough energy. And I was also planning to actually make the dam curved, which didn't happen because this thing was heavily inspired by the Hoover Dam and uh, yeah, that's about it for this video and now you can see some cinematic shots of the dam, enjoy!